So this is our Catalina 16 or 162 FB. It's a, a two-person uh, travel trailer, uh, and it uh, overall tip-to-tip -tip length from the ball, the two and five sixteenths inch hitch, to the end of the bumper is just about 19 feet. The box length is 15 feet. 9 inches and it's about 7 feet wide so a very easy to maneuver uh, small exterior uh, trailer you'll see inside that it's quite spacious so a couple of things of note uh, here on the exterior uh, obviously a 30 amp circuit a freshwater tank of 33 US gallons, so about 130 liters. Uh, the black and gray tanks are each 25 US gallons, so approximately uh, 100 liters each. Uh, propane fired hot water heater, so a six gallon hot water tank. Uh, tires are in incredibly good shape. We do keep them covered with uh, uh, vinyl covers uh, typically so all summer long they sit with vinyl covers uh, storage bin this is the exterior storage bin fairly large and it's a complete pass-through and one thing that we did add is our magnetic catches so that the door stays open and doesn't kind of hit you on the head as you as you look in single 12 volt battery a 20 pound propane tank with a stylish simulated metal vinyl cover uh, we'll even throw that in for free and up front here a power tongue jack which we keep uh, which we keep covered so we have this uh, nifty little device that keeps the chains off the ground, keeps the uh, power cord, the seven-way power cord for connecting to your tow vehicle uh, up off the ground as well. Uh, emergency trailer brake as well. Moving around to the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, of the, of the trailer. Uh, again, another large opening storage access, and you can see that it passes clear through. We have yet a third access to this point. It's under the bed, and we'll show you that when we go inside. A 10-foot power awning, which we're not able to open due to our proximity to the side of the house here, but it's uh, a nice big uh, power awning. The entry door is here at the rear, and before we go in, we'll just swing around to the very back. A bumper-mounted spare tire, a, uh, and, the, and the bumper can be used to store the uh, sewer hose. We have a separate uh, piece up front that you may have already seen, and an exterior hot and cold uh, shower. Stepping inside, we'll swing this door open and give it a quick latch. So, stepping inside, uh, you are met with a large uh, entry closet. Again, uh, some things are in there. Uh, we'll be removing those, of course. So, a large hanging entry closet, cupboard underneath and yet another cupboard up above with plenty of storage and uh, being almost two feet deep. So a large entry closet uh, to make things easy to stow away when you enter or get access to when you come out. The bathroom is came from the factory as a two-piece bathroom, so a, uh, a plastic toilet and a two-foot by three-foot uh, shower stall 
with a, uh, a plexiglass dome over top to let in some light and to um, and to give you additional headroom. We also have a, a fan with cover, so the fan or the vent can be left open. The fan can be left running uh, even when it's raining, and uh, and it'll stay dry inside. Because this bathroom didn't have a sink, uh, my wife came up with this rather ingenious yet simple uh, solution uh, to wash your hands after using the toilet. Um, and it's just a uh, plastic mounted uh, uh, bucket mounted with a couple of command hooks uh, that we can use and run the, uh, the water into uh, as a place to wash your hands. It can also be easily removed if you want to use the shower. I can tell you that the the toilet and black tank have um, have and, and I don't know how to put this more politely have never seen a number two. Uh, we've uh, uh, we've only used the uh, the toilet um, you know, sort of in the middle of the night uh, when you need to run and have a quick uh, urination, a quick pee. So that's what it's been used for. The fridge is uh, is quite large, uh, so with a with a separate uh, freezer compartment, uh, a two-way fridge, so it runs on both electricity, 110 or 120, and propane. Uh, and does a, does a good job at keeping things uh, chilled, keeps the ice cream frozen. Uh, beneath the refrigerator, uh, the fuse panel, and the uh, propane heater, which does a great job at heating this place up very, very quickly. Here at the entryway, we also have access to um, sort of the major... Uh, components so these all the ceiling lights, uh, the awning uh, control, the water heater, and the water pump, depending upon whether you have a city water connection or you're operating out of your freshwater tank. Um, radio uh, with uh, with remote, so if that's important, it's uh, it's there. The one thing, the one modification that we did make that's pretty significant is this trailer now has a dinette with two chairs. There were, there was, um, a pair of benches on either side of this, uh, of this table. Um, and we just found that the benches took up a considerable, considerable amount of room inside, so we've carefully removed them and the component pieces will be included with the trailer so that if you wanted to put it back uh, you could um, but we actually prefer this uh, uh, this setup uh, as again it's just the two of us and we're able to, uh, to eat quite comfortably here at this table without the additional uh, space taken up by the uh, by the benches spinning around to the kitchen side uh, we do have a uh, an electric only microwave uh, small but quite functional for that uh, for that popcorn in the middle of the night or uh, to cook the oatmeal first thing in the morning large spacious storage again we've added uh, a shelf to double the amount of uh, floor space and make that uh, much more functional here on the kitchen counter um, a fair amount of counter space for a 16 foot or just under 16 foot uh, trailer box. A single bowl sink with cover. And over on this side, I'll move the cast iron frying pan, we have a two burner propane cooktop. So we have a two burner suburban propane cooktop. Uh, and we've made a plywood cover to cover it uh, as again we do our cooking outside so this cooktop has not been used. Uh, one thing that I uh, would point out is in the back here we did add a power strip uh, to plug the coffee maker uh, in in the morning. Uh, this power strip is fed by the power outlet 
that would feed the microwave as well. So we demounted the microwave, took off the uh, the range hood, and uh, and ran the power cord up through uh, those components and plugged them in up above. On this side of the of the trailer, above the dinette, a large window overlooking your campsite or uh, the back of a truck, whatever, wherever you're located. Uh, again, large storage areas. Again, some built-in shelves to double the functional area in both of them. And the storage area does pass all the way through, so if you had a very long uh, item, you could certainly store it in there. Beneath the cooktop and the sink, we have three large cupboard doors. Again, plenty of storage inside for uh, whatever you may like to take. Pots and pans, all that sort of stuff. Cleaning supplies. Lots of, lots of storage space. Uh, in there. And on this side, the very bottom panel uh, houses the uh, the hot water heater and all of the connections uh, for that. A little bit of storage space and then we've added uh, these two drawers to provide you with room for cutlery or silverware or whatever you may want to put in drawers close to uh, the kitchen area. Turning to the bedroom space, again we'll start at the top, large overhead storage, again continuous all the way through, plenty of storage up there. At what we would consider the head of the bed. On the ceiling you have connections for uh, television equipment. Uh, we've never used that space and there is a backer built into that wall uh, for uh, a TV. Control for the furnace, uh, an electrical outlet, and over on this side we have not only an electrical outlet but two USB ports for recharging the cell phones, the iPads, or whatever device requires USB charging. Behind the pillows, there's a deep little pocket that runs behind the bed. Uh, perfect for putting your nighttime reading, your whatever uh, you may want to sort of have close at hand when you're uh, in bed. Uh, right there, yet it's out of sight. When we were looking at the through storage outside, I mentioned that there was a third way to access it. And it's here. So the bed lifts. Uh, we added the uh, lifts on the bed, so the hydraulic lifts to ensure that we weren't sticking our heads underneath and uh, getting hit from behind. This little component, this little box here, houses the water pump and connections to uh, to winterize the, the camper. So all those pieces are uh, embedded in there. So that's it. That's our review, preview, our presentation of the Catalina 162 FB. 162 being roughly the, the box length. So again, we're just under 16 feet uh, long box. Front bed. Um, and uh, we've really quite enjoyed this camper. Thanks.